Hello and welcome back to News 8 Now. I'm Steve Minnick. Police say two men wearing masks held up the key bank on Forest Avenue just after 11 on Friday morning. They then ran off, but then just 15 minutes later, police say this branch on Auburn Street was also robbed by the same two men. The suspects demanding cash before getting into a getaway car parked behind Brook Road. No weapons were used in either robbery. Portland police are also looking for the people who vandalized a sculpture outside the Portland Museum of Art. The eight-foot-tall rust-colored seven was placed outside the gallery back in November as a way to spruce up Congress Square. Security cameras captured two acts of vandalism that were discovered in mid-December. The gallery says someone marked the artwork with a swear word, and on another occasion, a group of people kicked the metal structure. As police investigate, the gallery views it as a personal attack. In court, a judge denies a prosecutor's request to keep a proceeding private, but then allegations come out in York County Court about reported police misconduct. This case involves the 2012 arrest of Paul Olson. Olson's defense attorney alleges there's a report at the Elliott Police Department that discredits testimony of some of the investigating officers. The report, which two former department leaders say exists, reportedly highlights officers who allegedly said they were one place but may have actually been at another, all while on duty. And thanks for joining us here on News 8 Now. Make sure to check back at WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime.